Mike Moore Media, the first place to hear Rockingham County news and information. I'm visiting with Cindy Adams, coordinator of tourism and special events for the city of Eden. It's our monthly podcast sponsored by That Little Pork Shop on Monroe Street in Eden. Hey, Cindy, welcome back. How are you? Hey, thank you. Boy, a month goes by fast, don't it? <laughs> Where does the time go? <laughs> uh, no, Didn't we have a, one, a beautiful, wonderful weekend and, and a couple of good days uh-huh. right now? It was. What a beautiful fall we're mm-hmm. having. Oh, I yeah. mean, um, I was at a wedding this weekend, an outdoor wedding in November in 73 degrees. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, how that? About was that was kind of dreamy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that was perfect. It well, was. Well, congratulations to the newlyweds. Yeah. You know, there are a lot of positive things happening that you want to share with us. So let's uh, get our yeah. calendars and uh, and check some things off here, Cindy. What are you starting with? Yeah. Well, the merchants uh, in Uptown Eden are really active. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a lot of um, merchants just raring to go down there. And it's a very exciting time to be um, well, it's a very exciting time to be in Eden, period. Yeah. Um, but but um, Uptown is, is doing really, really well. But they have a three-day um, holiday open house this weekend, beginning on Friday. And uh, the merchants are going to be fully decorated. Uh, some are going to have treats. Um, there'll be special sales and goodies. And so it's a great time to go ahead and get that Christmas shopping done. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, Uptown Eden uh-huh. Holiday yeah. Open House. So, yeah, put that on the calendar for sure. Yeah, and, and you'll be seeing Uptown Eden. Um, they have a merchants association that's, uh, again, become very strong and uh, amongst themselves. That's what their wishes were. And so um, that's what you'll be seeing on a lot of things. And that's what we used to call historic downtown Leesville. Mm-hmm. Um, and so when you see Uptown Eden, you know where you're at. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. New new branding and all of that. When will we mm-hmm. see some of those, uh, some of the new brands on some things? Do we know? Well, I know, I know um, Randy is working on new uh, municipal parking signs and things. And so signage like that will probably be the first things you see. Mm-hmm. Um, and then um, other things will appear um, in advertising and things. And so probably, you know, it'll take six months to a year. You know, when you change signs and things, it's very expensive. And uh, so they'll kind of slowly um, bring that brand in until it's all done. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, I, I actually was visiting in um, in the Uptown Eden area oh, a couple of weeks ago now, I guess, uh, kind of checking off some of the new businesses and uh, some of the ones that have been there for a while, too. And mm-hmm. I went to over 55 businesses one afternoon, just kind of a blitz. Uh, so there are really a lot more there than you realize. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Very few empty buildings anymore. Yeah. And um, so it, it's, again, very positive, um, uh, a nice swing in the right direction. Well, we're talking about the holidays, and mm-hmm. uh, one word comes to mind, Dewey's. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, boy. All those delicious go- goodies. Um, uh, for people not familiar, Dewey's um, sells the um, Moravian cookies. Um, the lemon cookie wafers, um, the sugar cake, mm. um, the cheese straws. Um, a lot of them are in gift tins um, that you can give as gift, and everybody loves Dewey's. Mm-hmm. Um, but the Women's League of Eden, uh, which is a great nonprofit group, they give um, money to local scholarships. They gave money to the RCC Food Pantry um, you know, always looking for something um, good to give their money to. And all the proceeds from their Dewey sale, uh, which has already started, um, it's within um, Preppy Pirate on Washington Street. They're in the very back. They have their own little nook back there. And um, so come in uh, anytime and get those goodies. They'll be open uh, right up until Christmas. And, um, again, you're helping out your fellow community members. I'm a part of that group. I'm very proud to be a part of that group. It's a strong ladies group Mm -hmm. uh, doing really, really great things. And I believe uh, they're open as of now. Is that right? They are. Um, They open. uh, The inventory came in on Friday, and they were open on Saturday. And so they'll be getting things um, weekly 
um, as far as supplies go. So um, go on down there, check out that, check out Prairie Pirate and the rest of Uptown Eaton when you're down there. Sure, that's exactly right. Uh-huh. We were yeah. talking uh, about, before we uh, started our program here, Cindy, about the, the good weather and made a mention of it as we, uh, as we started here. Uh, mm-hmm. A lot of people are getting out and about and uh, more traffic, more people enjoying Grogan, uh, Grogan Park there on, uh, on the campus of City Hall. Yeah, it's really great to see as I'm coming in and out and, uh, you know, uh, older people are walking, uh, younger people are playing, people are sitting in the swings on their computer or reading a book and listening to the chimes. Um, I see a lot of people out there on pretty days having their lunch. You know, we have picnic facilities out there. Um, it really is a great place to come and, and, and spend some time out there. It's very relaxing. Um, it's beautiful amongst the trees. It's beautiful all season. Um, you know, you have a shade in the summer to keep it cooler. The fall trees now, and I think it's some of the prettiest trees when they're naked, when all the leaves are off in the winter. Mm-hmm. Um, but there's uh, lots of public art projects out there. There's a water feature. There's benches. There's tables and chairs, the chimes, the swing, um, just lots of things to enjoy. And it's a very safe place to come and walk. Um, it's flat. It's not uh, intimidating for, for those who, who need a flat surface to walk on. Um, so come on down to Grogan Park. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, what a nice spot. We're very fortunate to have that uh, right here in the central part of Eden. And, uh, mm-hmm. you know, I'm thinking uh, I know you're a wonderful cook. Um, <laughs> how about a picnic? I'll meet you there one day. You just say when. <laughs> you name it. I'll fix it. <laughs> a picnic at Grogan Park. That would be great. Or maybe yeah, down at is. Clay Street Landing picnic area there now. Yes, I've had lunch there with um, with my daughter. And um, it's a beautiful, peaceful place. It's a great view of the river. It's very quiet. Um, so that's a lovely place to go as well. Um, we have lots of great picnic spots um, in Eden. You know, you have Freedom Park. Um, we have a shelter at the Matrimony Creek um, uh, Nature Trail, and we'll talk a little bit about that in a minute. But there's lots of areas um, to where you can dine outside. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we're looking at um, uh, 73 today, 75 tomorrow. Uh, you're talking mm-hmm. about that uh weekend wedding and the nice weather so yeah we've got some good days oh, still yeah. okay absolutely Let, let's talk a little bit about uh, matrimony creek right now yeah um it is open the first three quarter mile is open um again beautiful in the fall um to view that the sounds you know the rippling of the water off the rocks mm-hmm. the birds you've captured that yourself and and know firsthand but um again just a great place to go and walk bike um, take the kids with you. Um, it's just a lovely, lovely spot in Eden. Okay, Matrimony Creek Nature Trail. It's uh, right beside Hampton Heights Baptist Church near the Eden mm-hmm. Drive-In Theater just off Washington Street. Okay, right. the, the, the last part of that not open yet, is that correct still? Correct. Um, hopefully work will begin on that very soon, and once it does, um, I, I believe that will be a quick open as well. Uh, there's just... Um, there's some legalities of um, some endangered species that are being um, checked on and make sure we don't disturb that. Uh, and so we're waiting on um, water quality and those um, agencies uh, to give the city the go-ahead. But um, the repairs will be done. Um, and, again, beautiful waterfall at the end of that. It's quite a treat when you get to the end of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but 75% of Matrimony Creek Nature Trail is now open. So get out today yeah. and tomorrow at least and enjoy that, folks. That's right. Okay. What else is on your calendar for now? Well, what I think is the event of the year, mm-hmm. and that is done by the Eden Kiwanis, and that's their annual pancake supper. Yeah. And they've gotten creative this year. They are not going to let COVID stop that. Again, they put all that money back into the community and help folks, and so very worthwhile. Um, but they're doing a drive-through pancake supper to go uh, on Friday, November 20th. Uh, it will be at the First Presbyterian Church, and that's a great place because they have a covered shelter there, so mm-hmm. you won't get wet if it's raining. Um, but go help them out. Um, usually, Moorhead High School cafeteria is packed. Um, it's a great community event. Um, we hate we won't have that interaction 
um, but still get those delicious pancakes and sausages, juice, and all those good things um, for your supper that night. Okay, so that's a drive through Pancake Supper, Eden Kiwanis Club, First Presbyterian Church, Friday, November 20th. 4.30 to 7.30. It's $5 a plate. Can't beat it. No, that's good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Well, for right now, well, one more thing okay. uh, that people need to put on their calendar uh, for November is, again, Uptown Eden um, is doing a holiday stroll in conjunction with Small Business Saturday. Um, that'll be from 11 to 7 that day. Again, there'll be... Um, Lots of activities, possibly some music, some carolers, uh, specials, and different things. So, again, another opportunity to help your um, local merchants. Um, and, and people need to remember that. You know, it's easy to order online, you know, and all those things. But when you shop your hometown, you're helping your neighbors. And, uh, you know, that's real important for us to think about them. They have great offerings. Sometimes they have the exact same product that you're ordering offline, and you don't know those people. You don't know, you know, exactly where your money's going. But when you shop local, you know. And uh, you're putting a smile on a face and money in their pocket to make a living and keep Uptown Eden thriving. Because uh, that's the only way it's going to thrive is if we support it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And and you deal with uh, sales tax and, and things like that. And so that stays right here in, in our community. Absolutely. You know, that, that helps with the bottom line here at City Hall to keep, you know, um, utilities in check and those kind of things. So, you know, it, it's a cycle and, and everybody benefits. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, shop locally and support our hometown businesses. So, yeah, Holiday Stroll and uh, Small Business Saturday, November 28th. Very important mm-hmm. that we support our local local hometown businesses for sure. All the mm-hmm. time. Yeah. You That's know, I, I'm thinking, you know, sometimes it is uh, sometimes, uh, uh, you know, seems convenient to order something online, but sometimes... Uh, you know, things don't ever reach you when you order online. You know, we've That's had that right. experience, and you know, or or it comes. We had we did that recently, and it, the things were all busted up. And you know, oh, when you yeah. when you be able to go in a shop and actually see the items and purchase it and and deal with people one on one, it certainly is an advantage for sure. Yeah, you know, and getting to know those shop owners. You know, yeah. it's nice when you walk in some place and somebody calls you by name, and mm-hmm. you know they appreciate you, and so it it just. It just makes a more tight-knit community when you do that. Right. Yeah, we appreciate them for sure. Okay. Okay. Wow, lots of good things. Thank you, Cindy. You are so welcome. Thank you again for the opportunity, and thanks to um, That Little Pork Shop. A great place to go eat. It has a great vibe about it. Um, It's just, again, hometown flavor at its best. Yeah. Oh, hometown flavor. Oh, I like that. That should be a (laughs) – we should incorporate that in the – tell Donna to incorporate that in her – in our marketing, hometown yeah, flavor. Yeah, let's do that. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> Cindy, always a pleasure. Have a good week. You do the All same. Right, bye. Thank you, Mike. Bye-bye. Cindy Adams is coordinator of tourism and special events for the city of Eden. Uh, you can uh, get more information about what she's doing at exploreedennc.com and on Facebook. Yes, uh, that little pork shop, a, a great uh, rock and roll barbecue joint, Famous for their hot wings. Annette and I were in recently. Oh, they're so good. They're at 629 Monroe Street in Uptown Eden. November, Donna is having Give Back Saturdays. 10% of sales goes to Drive for Shelter, Rockingham County Dog Rescue. What a great cause that is, Deb Sterling and uh, the folks there. Uh, So get into uh, that little pork shop and enjoy all the good things and you menu uh, is uh, coming out, and um, uh, Donna tweaking that a little bit, and a uh, a wings menu uh, just specifically for those wonderful wings there at that little pork shop in Uptown Eden on Monroe Street. And I'm Mike Moore. Thank you for listening to today's program.